Hey guys, Ralph here. <clears throat> Welcome to True Power Health. On this thrilling Thursday, once again. Got a lot to talk about today. But, um, yeah, I saw this a couple days ago and I meant to get to it. But Roy Boy, Bryson DeSham, I know I've called him out a couple times in the past. And I have to uh, give credit where credit is due. First of all, he shot a 58 um, at Live Golf the other day on a pretty good course, Greenbrier. I mean, not a super difficult course, but I mean, a 58 is a 58. And God bless him for that. But what I am, mean, you saw the thumbnail. But uh, several years ago, he had a massive, massive weight gain. He must have gained 50 pounds in a couple of months. And he's trying to convince us that it's just working out in a high, high protein diet. Guys, he was so blatantly juiced up. Just so blatantly juiced up. And again, I don't care. I don't care. Tiger Woods was juiced up for much of his career. Rory McIlroy went on him for a while. Dustin Johnson, absolutely juiced. Brooks Kepka, absolutely juiced. I don't care. I told you before, if you are not going to watch sports because of steroids, whatever, you're not going to watch any sports. Serena Williams was juiced. I mean, there's no place to hide, guys. It's just a fact of life now. There's a handful of great players that aren't. I did a thing on Novak Djokovic. I don't think he is. Um, but anyway, if you look at the difference in his physique from back then to now, it, it's, just, it, it's just so much more than, you know, going on a diet. He's basically eating the same diet, not as many calories, but it's a high-protein diet, which I think is silly. You've been watching this. But, um, again, he was on it for a while. He won the U.S. Open, juiced up, was hitting the ball a mile, uh, won a couple long drive championships, which is, you know, you got to start at 390 yards, if not four, 400 or more. And, uh, no, he was, and the, the long drive guys are all juiced, all juiced. Um, and it got to a point where he broke a bone in his wrist just swinging a golf club. Now, I've told you before, steroids, they work. They take you places you wouldn't normally go, okay? There's no question about that. I'm not refuting that at all. But if you listen to what I said, they take you places you probably shouldn't go. Many times, these guys that I just talked about, the Yankees and all that sort of stuff, guys, your musculature, your skeletal system and whatnot just isn't many times set up to take that stress that you're putting it on because of these things you can do with steroids. And the body breaks down many times. And here's it. I mean, when you're talking Jack Nicholas, Lee Trevino, um, Tom Watson, Arnold Palmer, how many of those guys broke a wrist, a bone in the wrist, just swinging a golf club? None. Yeah, those are roid injuries, case closed. Now, once again, if you look at his physique from back then until now, it's just bloated beyond belief with the roids, and he slimmed down. Uh... Good for him. Good for him. If he stayed the way he was going, it just would have been one more injury after another. And it took him a long time to get it back. But that 58 um, that he shot at Greenbrier, now I like his whole uh, revolutionary way of playing golf with the single plane, which he doesn't really do traditionally. But... Um, one size fits all golf clubs. I, I mean, it, it's it's a different, and I like revolutionary things that come in and just try something different. I think it's very brave and noble, and um, for that regard, I'm glad to see him doing well again because I think he's he is a talented guy. I like what he's doing, but the Roy's were just, and nobody said a word. I was the only one that said anything, and I think more than him doing Roy's, I think it's the way. The media and everything portray him, one, 
They're completely oblivious to what's happened, and they really and truly believe, oh, yeah, it took me two months to gain 75 pounds. I, I, just, I just lifted heavy. No, you didn't. That's not the way it works. That's just not the way it works. To gain 50 pounds like he did, other than just eating like a pig, even then it's hard to do it 50 pounds. It to do it right, like he said, it might take you three years to do that. Naturally, there's no way it was. And they just either, one, were oblivious to the signs or chose to ignore it. But the fact that he saw where this was going and was smart enough, had people around him, I guess, to get him off it, good for him. Good for him. And I wish it well. He's not one of my favorite golfers. He's not one of my favorite athletes. I think he's a child at heart. And I... But he's a talented guy, and I don't like, I don't like, I don't wish ill on anybody. And uh, he's a talented guy. I'd like to see him now that the PGA and the Live have combined. Uh, I'm sure he will be in the back in the top 10 soon. And um, yeah, that's that. All right, all right, eat and drink your fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. Not the fake stuff, true power. Love you all.